these are just the lights, but I'm trying to get rid. That's kind of my goal in the first wash is to get rid of the competitive lights there. Also, I'm in the water. If you paint me water, uh, I paint it in uh, and then come and soften it up so that it has a lot of soft edges. And uh, uh, that's another thing I've learned about uh, painting moving water, especially, is you need some hard edges, but you also need uh, a good many soft edges as well. And I'm also coming in and graying this down uh, a good many uh, varieties of, of gray here. John? Yes. Um, are you using uh, both cerulean and uh, phthalo blues? I, I am in the painting, but I'm only using cerulean at the moment. Uh, phthalo oh, okay. okay. come a little later. So we're letting the water, it's just the start, uh, but we're, we're letting the water be soft and edged, uh, a little lighter. I'm going to save a bit of a, of a white for the time being. That won't be there too long, but and let's green that up just a bit as well. Uh, but we're we're painting around a lot of objects at this early phase of the painting. And a little stronger. I just touched in uh, 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 just touched into a little bit of the uh, thalo. And we'll soften up couple of edges this lot uh, and that's another thing i wanted to uh, to talk to you about and i'll i will more is i'm using some dry brush effect for where the water uh, uh is flowing down the the uh the fall trying to make each rock a little unique a little bit different. And softening up. Softening these things up. Lots of soft edges in here as the uh, as the uh, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to lose that. And just adjusting some of these edges softer, diffused. And see how I'm adjusting the values of in the water. A uh, little lighter, little softer. Uh, that's that's what happens. We uh, we have to not expect to just put it down once and leave it alone. Uh, oh, it just fell right off the brush, just the way I, I want it to be. I I'm expecting uh, to to make these adjustments and. Uh, and changes and alterations. Uh, that's what painting is. And, uh, and lots of edge quality adjustment here. A little softer, a little softer. And hey everybody, and thanks for being with us. If you enjoyed the demo, give us a thumbs up and write a comment. And if this is the kind of content you're looking for in watercolor, please consider subscribing to our channel. It helps Martha and me out more than you know. Thanks again. See you soon. <laughs> Over here, there's a rock.
And here's a rock. Let's make this guy come out a bit more there and here. Give it an irregular shape. There we go. And let's then find these guys over here. All of these will be restated stronger. Uh, darker to sh again for good contrast with the light. When overlap, the more we can overlap, the more three dimensional this becomes. And I wanted this to be a bit softer as well. So just come in and make sure that has a good overlap in front of the water uh, gives it that three-dimensional feeling. Some hint of foliage and then I'm wetting some of the edges, wetting some of the edges. Don't want these flowers to be cut out. And thickening up the paint. I want it to be loose, not cut out hard edge. And maybe this is going to be too dark. Just a couple of, of strokes across there. Maybe a little darker in there. Some hint of the ribbing in the palm, rounded a bit, rounded a bit. And we do the, do the same over here. Makes them more three-dimensional. Don't want to busy them up too much. On. This is an old oil. And when I went to Ringling School of Art uh, back in the late 60s, early 70s, you became an oil painter the day you went into class. And so this is an oil painting brush. Look at the tip of it that, uh, that I've had for all of these years, over 50, I guess. And let me find a place where I can show you this. Uh, what we're doing is we're actually coming in and digging out the, uh, the fiber of the paper. But if we want a few highlights, a few accents, uh, we come in, I do this at the very end of the painting, uh, and it will lift out these wonderful little accents of highlight. Uh, and the problem with it is I, almost always they look good. And so the first thing is you say, you compliment yourself. Boy, I'm glad I did that. And then the next thing you say is let's do that again. <laughs> and about... You know, five minutes later, I've got 87 little light uh, accents, and uh, I've learned the hard way that I like them, but I can like them too much, and uh, and it's better to have one too few than uh, one too many.